Unlike uh, most houses where we don't do bins uh, for the most part, nearly every office space and commercial clean you do will have a bin. And we have two basic sizes. We have the smaller bin, which is a 37 litre white uh, bin liner, and then a 72 litre bin black liner. And that obviously there's the size difference. So we put it on the chair. We'll take this old one out um, and put, get, put it over here. Now the reason we put these on the chairs is for a couple of reasons. First one is uh, we can vacuum on the floor where it belongs underneath it. Uh, it also helps us to know where we are when we're vacuuming uh, so that when we vacuum, we put the bin back under the desk. All right, so with these, instead of just putting the liner in it and having it sitting there loose, we try to tie them up uh, on the smaller one so that when people throw stuff in the bin in the next day, it doesn't just fall back in there like that. Now, depending on the size of the waste paper bin, you can have two options. You can have this one here, where you just twist it up as best you can, and you tuck it underneath there, hold it like that and push on the inside just to give it a bit of a, 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 a seal, and that will hold on pretty well. It's, uh, probably as best as you can get it because you can't really tie um, this one's too small. However, some of the waste paper bins that you'll come across, like this one, will actually be enough space to tie a knot on the side. And where you can tie a knot, do that because it's a better seal. All right, so see, so do that. You've got a lot more extra bin liner. And you just twist it a little bit like so. Tie a little knot. Nothing fancy. And that's going to hold a lot better uh, for the person the next day when they to go to throw stuff in it. Now, the other bin liner that we have are the bigger ones. And these, will, these bin liners will go into the big, you know, 56 litre, 64 litre bins. Um, and they'll go down to, this is probably the smallest size bin that you'd use for one of these. So you do the same, you take that out. Uh, often what I do with the white ones, if there's enough space, I just throw them into there. Put this out of the way. And then we tie these, always tie the bin liners up before putting in the bin so that that loose rubbish doesn't fly around inside their bin, whether it be the skip bin or the willy bin. To tie them, I grab the two corners, I twist it so it does half a turn. And then I simply just tie a knot like that. And sometimes, depending on how loose it is, you can actually grab the other side, twist it again, and put another knot in it just to make sure that nothing falls out. Take that outside, find the bin, skip bin or the wheelie bin, and put that in there. Now, unlike the white ones, you don't normally need to put a knot into these bags because of the size of them. They don't tend to collapse inside the bin. Uh, especially for this bin, it actually does have a lid, which is just out of the camera shot. You just put it in like that, you put the lid on it, and it's gonna hold it in. Um, if this didn't have a lid, it's probably getting to the size where I would tie a knot in it, similar to the waste paper basket we just had. Uh, but again, this one has a lid. And the bigger these get, you don't really need to tie a knot because of the size of them. Um, it's not going to collapse in there too much.